Right, so actor John Dumoulin, I know you're a very good friend of Yvonne Nelson. My first question is, would you ever be comfortable to put yourself out there by letting the world know the real you? I mean, yes. Um, just as we filmmakers, we tell stories of our culture, our love stories, you know, our heritage. I think it's, 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 it's very important for us to tell our own story, of course, through a book. So that people don't come and tell our stories for us. So that people don't say, oh, we thought it was this or we thought it was that. <clears throat> and so it's very encouraging what she's done. And of course, I would, I'd, I would encourage a lot of people to do it. Um, she's done it much earlier. You know, most people, you know, write their books when they are almost retiring from their careers and so on and so forth. She's done it much earlier. And I know for a fact that probably she would bring, you know, I mean, she'll, she'll put out more books later on. So we are, we are, I'm pretty proud of it. Now, you have been a very good friend of Yvonne. She constantly is like, she says it without fear or favor. Looking at the things she has put out in her book, were you privy to some of these things? Yes, I was. I was, I was privy to some of the things she said in her book. And, um, you know, so it wasn't surprising when I saw some tweets about it, you know, that this, this was what was going on in her life and so on and so forth. So I was privy to some of the things and I'm, I'm glad she, she said it. Now looking at her, I know she's more like a sister to you. If you have a sister who has had to go through all of these things, how would you feel and how would you be able to console her at this time of her life? Look, I think everybody goes through tough times. And I think, you know, like the saying goes, it's tough people who go through tough times. And so it's, it's very important for you to write them down and for let people know. Maybe somebody's going through a similar story. I mean, yesterday I was with a friend and, you know, what he kept on saying was, he was just telling me about his life story and what he's going through and, uh, you know, what he went through. And so, and, and so people go through a lot of things and what she's going through, somebody will have a similar story. Somebody will say, oh, you know what? I'm going through the same thing, but I like the way Yvonne has come out to talk about it, you know. So it makes you heal quicker so that you can move on quicker. There was this part Manasi actually put out about your constituency, mm. that there was somebody so close to the president who wanted her to stand in that constituency. Mm. Of course, you were also, mm. I mean, standing for the NDC. How would it have been if Yvonne Nelson had taken that position to contest against you? You know, I, I, she told me about, I mean, she told me about this thing long ago that, you know, somebody approached her to contest, uh, you know, against me. And, and what, I, what I realized was I respected her for that. I respected her for, number one, telling me. I respected her for not taking that decision. Because clearly, if, if you've been told to contest, I mean, of course, um, whoever is telling you or the group of people telling you are ready to support you with whatever it is you need. And so I think she put our friendship there that look you know what John is my friend I cannot do this against John I cannot contest against John and that is what real friends do and I've really respected her for that now considering the fact that all of this has come out and all that you as celebrities do you think that the media somehow misjudge you sometimes based on some of the things that come out from your camps or anything oh of course the media always the media always is sometimes not friendly to us you know, they'll put up certain stories, write or paint a certain picture about you and let you feel as if, you know, you are like this when you're actually not like that. I mean, so, and most celebrities have faced that across the world, you know, from Princess Diana to, you know, I mean, of course, some members of the royal family currently and, you know, other celebrities in the U.S. are around the world, I mean. So, but, but at the same time, you have the media also promoting some of us, which is good. But they always say controversy sells. I mean, if tomorrow there's a news article that, oh, John Dumelo is fine, he's okay. But if they say, John, oh, John has done this, hey, everybody will want to read it, everybody will want to comment on it, everybody will, you know, just say um, negative stuff. So I think, yes, sometimes the media is against us, sometimes they are for us. But I think these days they are more for us than against us. But of course, you, you still find some bad, bad ones inside. Now, at the moment, let's talk about you. How are preparations going so far towards, I mean, 
standing again. Yeah, it's going good. Um, I just came back from Ofinso North. Um, no, sorry, Asin North constituency where we are campaigning for, you know, the parliamentary candidate there. And so far, so good. And we are continuing. I'm continuing what I'm doing in Iowa West. Hopefully, you know, our primaries have been put on hold. So hopefully in the next few weeks, things will be clear and then, you know, but nevertheless, I'm not waiting for things to be clear. I'm just moving on, still campaigning. And, you know, so far, so good. I, I hope and I know, not I hope, I know that in 2024, I'm definitely going to win the seat for the NDC. And, and you know, it's going to be pretty historic. What about Fred Nyama? I, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure if he was here, you'd ask him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, and the farming bit too as well. Amazing, amazing. I mean, every day I'm, I'm trying out, I'm thinking about new ways to make farming great again in Ghana. And agri is the only thing that we have. We shouldn't let that slip away from our hands. Either than that, we're going to start importing everything from eggs to whatever it is. And so we should take control of our agri industry. There's so much potential. The, the youth should get into it. There's so much potential and trust me, in the next, I, I haven't, I hope that, I know that in the next 10, 15 years, you know, Ghana would, Ghana will be at the top when it comes to our Greek. Thank you so much, John. I love you too.